uh, let us know a little bit more about the Corsair, what we're looking at here. So the 23rd installment of the classes on BDO, the Corsair, she is part woman, part you up as a mermaid. She um, she's building what I can, what it looks like here is a cut list that hasn't been confirmed, but we don't know what her offhand weapon is. But from what we can tell in the trailer and from what we've gotten, she's going to be a very mobile, very combo, very attack heavy character. It's almost, you know, uh, pre-creation started today on the 23rd. So if you're interested, you can pre pre-create your character and season servers were announced during the Heidel Ball last week. So you can, you know, twofer create your character and make it a season character um, today. It's not released today, but the pre-creation for it starts today. It will be released along with the season server, which will allow you to kind of get caught up to speed with, you know, what you need to get caught up with, with gear and leveling this character up um, on the 29th of June. So oh, I'm gonna play that for sure. just really awesome looking class that I've yeah. liked a lot of the past um, classes that they've come out with, like the past two or three classes. They've just they've been different. They've played different. It's been a lot of fun to uh, level those classes up. Oh, she's got um, a pistol, it looks like. She, so we're thinking they may bring in something with like a, a, a blunderbuss. I'm hoping so. I mean, it's there, right? It's there. Yeah. So we, we talked about with like the Sage, when we, when we covered the Sage, how the Sage came out with their quote unquote succession form. Yeah. And we don't know if she's going to come out with her succession form or if it's just going to be the base character. But um, she's going to get two forms, or at least I'm assuming um, most of the time they give most characters two forms. They give them their awakening form where their weapon will change kind of and they'll switch between like their base weapon here and another weapon. Uh, and then they'll have succession where their base weapon just kind of gets uh, their base kit gets really strong with their with their normal weapon. Oh. And uh, so I'm, I'm wondering if when she goes awakening, will she get a blunderbuss or will she become a more caster like character? Because yeah, if you're looking at this trailer, she's like half melee, half caster. She just lobbed a water ball. I saw it um, during that last me. move. So it looks like it almost might be a mage hand when she's ascended. I, I think I saw it. Look, reminds yeah, me of yeah. red mage. <laughs> I mean, it could be because that would keep her hand free and then she could use it two handed at times. There's a lot of different things. If you go with a pirate scene that they could use as a as a second, like an offhand. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, if yeah. they do like if they do like a mid range caster thing, it would be a lot like Red Mage from Final Fantasy. And I think they're they're. I don't know if they're going to stick to melee or not, because realistically, like sage she it's like she's very avoided it's kind of like that kind of caster right so she's gonna have some casting abilities obviously when she's got that um that mermaid form but i will i hope that it's not me I personally i hope it's not a mid-range caster at the end of the day because we just have a lot of that kind of right now in the game it's not it, what i would like to see it really looks like she's going to be um close range avoidance direct damage i mean it, it I think she's just going to be a combo burst down character with a lot of ability to stick on you um, yeah, like because like we, we, we haven't had that in a while. Yeah, we, we have a really heavy hitting, you know, um, broad axe that, you know, uh, the Guardian wields or whatever, or Jordan. Um, we don't ha we haven't gotten one of those shifty, bursty characters that just sticks on you and pisses you the fuck. We haven't gotten that in a really long time, and it's about time. Like, we haven't really had an assassin class besides uh, well, Hashashin, but um, <laughs> well, like, it's been oh, a while yeah, since he's come out. Guy. Yeah, there was that guy, right? But whatever. Um, I, I so I like think she's going to be something like that. Weren't the last two classes casters? Because there's Sage and the one before. Right? I don't remember. Yeah, so was there was Sage. well, there was Sage, and then the one before it was a Nova, and she's more of a melee oh, tank. tank. That has some casting abilities and her awakening is very quick and she has a lot of aoe in it um oh, she's not necessarily a caster she does have some casting to her but i don't know if i'd call her a caster i absolutely love the character models in this game i mean they're fantastic they have so many of them it surprises me how high quality they look like compared to how often they seem to come out with stuff well, the best thing about it is that they mentioned in their um, in the Heidel Ball uh, release that they had again, which is just basically like um, like most games are doing nowadays. It's their like con almost where they come through and it's a big announcement for the game, the state of the oh, game and what they're like doing. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, eh, it, like, virtual. I know it's called a ball. <laughs> so you're thinking, oh, y'all got together and did the waltz. <laughs> 
Well, no. It's more like what, <laughs> uh, gamers, Destiny, uh, damn it, we don't dance. It's more like what Destiny and Warframe do. Uh, Pretty much, yes. I don't actually. But know. even 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 Warframe calls it like Tenocon. I think they yeah, just yeah, wanted yeah. to be different. They didn't want to call it a con. Then you know we're not we're conned out, right? Like, is it because they have to hold it at like a Holiday Inn business center or? Yeah. Well, this year and last year because of COVID, it was held remotely, right? Um, yeah. And they wanted to be in person. Actually, I don't know if last year was well held remote. At any rate, um, it was held remote this year. And um, but yeah, they, the the idea of it was for it to be in person. So that's uh, definitely a tether that helps her stick to the target. I just don't know if it. Do you think it does like damage, or is it just for her to stick to it? It's a really good question. We, we're we're gonna have to find out. I would love to see if you pass it through someone that it does some kind of damage, or even does a CC if you pass it through someone. That'd be great. Almost like if like it's stiff in someone. Yeah, it looks like she moves a little bit faster while it's attached. It's hard to tell. She looks like she has a lot of movement abilities. Um, yeah. It looks like the mermaid form is almost travel based at times, which is amazing. That yeah, she's 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 definitely going to be a, a uh, like a mobile fighter. She's going to be a fighter that gets in and does some damage and then, you know, scoot out. Scoot, scoot, boogies on out. That's what she's going to be. Yeah. That's kind of cool, man. I got I think I might check that out. You said it's on the 29th? The 29th, yep. So next, was that, Wednesday? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm off, so yeah, I might just check that out. I definitely um, <laughs> <laughs> I installed uh, the game again anyway a few days ago. I think I tried playing... Um, oh, is it Dark Knight, Death Knight, Black Knight, Girl with the Giant Two Hands? Uh, Dark Knight. Black Black Dynamite. Dynamite. I had to think about it from a- yeah. Dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really like that class to be honest. At least not at first. I mean, I'm sure they play differently later on, but they just it felt really slow. Uh, it uh so it ended up being a caster, which threw some people off. The awakening form is kind of like a mid range caster, really? but their um succession form brings them back to their sword, their big giant sword. Oh, sh- <laughs> and um. <laughs> I love me, you know, characters in that game. It's ridiculous how how it, like intent, not intense, but how in depth that character creation system is. It's crazy. The amount of like people who have saved stuff to that gallery, you could just flip through pages all day. Half of them look really bad, like they were in a car accident. Yeah, uh, and then the other ones, you're like, what the? This is <laughs> that's almost jail baity. Nope. Not gonna be my character. Anyway, yeah, we'll have to check out the course there on the 29th. Uh, thanks for hanging out for this long. Also, I should say, if you do play Black Desert, are you looking forward to this class? If not, what class is it that you do play that you do enjoy? I should probably have front loaded that. Maybe I'll clip it out. <laughs> probably do better at the beginning of the video. All right, that's it for us.